So uh, there are uh, two ways to create a stack. You can either create it by using an array and uh, creating an array that uh, has a bunch of uh, space here. And what you can do is you can just keep track of uh, the size. So you can say that uh, the size of this stack starts at zero. And then uh, whenever someone uh, pushes something in, um, you can start to fill things up at uh, an index. So you could say you could push something in here, um, then the size would go up to one, and you could uh, push something in here, and the size would go up to two, and you could push it again, and the size would go up to three. Notice that uh, here we're using an array, but since we restricted ourselves to only pushing things uh, onto the end of the array, uh, yeah, remember that the, the stack um, the stack looks like this. I mean, we, we draw it here. So in this case, we uh, pushed one thing in, then we pushed another thing in, and we pushed something else in. But uh, since the push operation only uh, adds things to the very top, and pop only takes things off the top, we totally evade the old array problem where we don't have to move anything around anymore. So the old disadvantage of an array was that we had to scoot things over all the time to make room for inserting and deleting things in the middle of the array. But the whole point of the stack is that we only ever are interacting with the very last thing in the list. So if we ever add something else, uh, it's very easy to, we're basically guaranteed to have an empty space to add it. And if we ever get rid of it, um, all we have to do is just scribble out that one thing. And if we ever popped something else, well, we could just scribble out uh, that one thing. And so we're guaranteed that we only ever have to do um, one write or one scribble out, and we're guaranteed to have that in constant time. Um, another way to create the stack is we could actually create it out of a linked list. So we could have um, the root pointing to a node, and then uh, whenever we pushed something else in it, well, we could create a new node that pointed to the previous one. We could update the root, and if we ever wanted to uh, push something else in. Well, this picture is going to look awfully strange, um, but uh, we could just update the root again and do that. And if we ever wanted to pop it, um, we could eliminate the reference to the old one and uh, make the root uh, just point again uh, back to the thing that was after that. That's a bit of a sloppy picture. Um, but uh, so we actually have the ability to build the stack um, out of either of these two structures. And, um, well, in this case, they're, because we've only restricted it to the push of the pop, uh, they're actually very similar efficiencies. So I'm gonna use the uh, array data structure for now, and let's uh, code this up. <laughs> 